In the parables, Jesus tells us that the kingdom of God is like something tiny that makes a massive difference. It's a small mustard seed that grows into a vast tree. It's yeast transforming dough. When we're thinking about the ways that we engage online as churches and circuits, we can use this as a kingdom value to help us with our planning. We don't need to be on every single platform and we don't need to be posting every single day. We don't want to simply add to the noise of the digital world. In what we do online, we can be like the yeast in the dough, just doing small things in countercultural ways. Sustaining social media channels for a church or circuit over a number of years can be exhausting. So rather than trying to be everything to everyone online, we can just pick one or two things and do them really well. Being clear about why you're online and what you're trying to achieve on social media is key to figuring out what those one or two things might be. And you can refer to some of our earlier videos in this series, like who are we talking to online, to help us consider this. Once you've decided what you're focusing on, then stick to it for at least a year before reviewing it. And you can use it as a guide so that when somebody says to you, oh, can you just post this on Facebook? You can say, actually, no, that's not the kind of thing we post. It's estimated that every second there are, on average, around 55,000 posts to Facebook. Every second. And if we're going to add to that vast amount of content, then it needs to be a case of quality over quantity. Whatever we're posting, we need to make sure it's done well, especially if we're trying to reach a younger adult audience who are used to their digital content being designed well. And you don't need expensive design software for good design. Check out our video in the series, Get Started with Canva, to find out more. So our top tips are, firstly, know what you're trying to achieve on social media. And secondly, pick just one or two ways to achieve that thing and do it really well in a way that looks and sounds engaging. I want to show you an example of an account that I think does this really well. This is a Christian Instagram account called Black Liturgies. This account has a very clear purpose to share daily prayers based on the themes of dignity, lament, rage, justice, healing and rest. Cole Arthur Riley, the creator of Black Liturgies, uses a simple but beautiful template that she uses again and again crafting her posts to achieve her purpose, to invite her followers into prayer. This is a great example of doing one thing in a hugely impactful way, and also in a way which is counter-cultural. The Black Liturgy posts carve out a moment of reflection amidst all the noise of selfies and adverts on Instagram. Black Liturgy's got 5,000 followers in three weeks of being on Instagram, and now, two years later, has a following of 167,000. As churches and circuits, we aren't aiming for that level of growth or engagement, but we can learn from Black Liturgies about the impact of just doing one countercultural thing and doing it beautifully. Mm -hmm.